and um, there are boats uh, which uh, do a circle around the city center. And you see that Berlin is very, very green, full of parks and and um, lakes and rivers and and uh, woods. Uh, and I would highly recommend to go by bicycle. Mm -hmm. Almost twenty percent of our of our traffic is uh, made by bicycle. Easy, you have a very easy access to to cycle to the city, so you can search all the major sites. Like first of all, of to go to the Brandenburg Gate because it's our main landmark and it is the place, a symbol for the division and the reunification of our city. Uh, the governmental district is very interesting uh, in terms of architecture. We have a museum island with five museums. Very, very uh, interesting. For example, the uh, Nofretiti. Uh, if you want to visit the most beautiful woman from Berlin, you have to go to the new museum to visit Nofretiti. But we also have uh, a lot of uh, uh, possibilities to shop. And of course, uh, nightlife and cultural life, entertainment, modern entertainment. We've only touched the briefly what uh, Berlin yeah. has to offer. Where can we find out more about Berlin? Ah, yeah, there is a very good website. Uh, um, visit Berlin dot com. Uh, there are a lot of tips. Uh, there is uh, for people who like blogs, uh, really nice blog where you can get uh, insider tips. Uh, what you can do in Berlin, what you can find in Berlin. You also can do the Berlin welcome card um, there and uh, there's an event calendar as well. Okay, thanks Christian. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you for, for choosing Berlin for your, for your uh, show. This is Seclo Sounds and you can listen to us by clicking listen live on our homepage at seclosounds.org for a choice of players. Via TuneIn Radio at www.tunein.com, search for Seclo Sounds and listen online or download the TuneIn app. You can download the Seclo Sounds iPhone app from the iTunes App Store and you can listen to us on demand at our replay page. You can contact me at john.gwyn at seclosounds.org. This is Seclo Sounds. Join us every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for one hour in the company of Harry and Edna on the wires, exploring all aspects of the vintage scene and playing tip-top gramophone tunes. Harry and Edna on the wireless, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on seclosounds.org. Jolly good. Hi, blessings to each and every one of you. Join me, Darren Hoy, with the Reggae Takeover Show for two hours of the finest reggae vibes, each and every Wednesday, 9 through to 11 p.m., here on Seclo Sounds. Don't miss out on your weekly Sunshine Fix, featuring Roots, Rude Boy, Dub, Lover's Rock, Scar, One Drop, and much, much more. So go on, give your sound system a treat. Join me, wind down low, and skank the night away. One love. That's Wednesdays, 9 through to 11 p.m., live on Seclo Sounds. It's a top selector. You can make comments about the show at facebook.com slash John Gwynn Travel Show. Murder on the Orient Express might be a little bit too much excitement for you, but trains are an overlooked method of transport. Seen as slow and old-fashioned by many, this mode of transport is making a comeback as more are concerned about the ecological impact of their travels. Trains are also a great way to see the countryside and to get immersed into the local culture. Sometimes it can be cheaper too. The internet has made it easier to research train journeys anywhere in the world. In most cases, the websites have an English version, an English option as well, and if you can't see an option for an English language version, which is possibly going to be a button marked EN or has the Union Jack or the Stars and Stripes, try adding slash EN uh, at the end of the URL. And if that doesn't work, you just have to use uh, Google Translate. When using websites that are based in another country, you may find that you won't recognise place names as they will be spelt in the local language. So ensure that you have the various spellings to hand for the places you want to go and visit. The prices will probably be in the local currency as well, so you need a currency converter handy, just to make sure you're not overspending. When searching for trains, you may find that some websites cover the national rail network 
while others only cover specialist lines, such as Eurostar. The basic search message, once you're on the method even, once you're on the website, is similar to searching for flights. All you have to do is enter your departure and arrival stations, dates and times. And unlike flights, you'll probably get a, an option of uh, plenty of options before and after your, desi your desired departure time. Things to look out for are available train lines. Is the train a local one, which stops on all the stations along the route, or an intercity? The number of stops you can have to make. The services that are on board, including dining. The approximate travel time and the classes of travel. You also need to check if the tickets will be posted to you, if it's an e-ticket or if you have to collect them at a departure station from a ticket booth, office or machine. Just like flights, there are various different classes of travel, so make sure you sit in the correct compartment. They also have fare rules, and some tickets can only be used at certain times of day, and if you get in the wrong class at the wrong time, you could get a penalty fine. Finally, a ticket does not guarantee you a seat. You may be able to reserve one at an extra cost. Some trains are overnight and have an extra class of travel called sleeper. A sleeper could be a fold-down bunk in a normal compartment, or there could be a section of the train just for the beds, called a sleeper compartment, funnily enough. These compartments may offer washing facilities and lockable doors, and even if they don't, the beds are larger and have more privacy than the ones in the uh, compartments where the chairs change into beds. Rail passes can help make ticketing simpler, as you can put most or all of your trip onto one ticket. A Eurail pass, for example, can cover a set period, provide unlimited travel in a country, in a region, which is two countries, a section, which is three, four or five countries, and a global pass will allow you to travel in all 23 member countries. As with buying flights, you should read the terms and conditions of sale before booking your pass. And don't forget to price up your planned journeys using normal tickets as well, just to see if that's cheaper. If you're not planning on travelling on every single day, a pass could actually work out more expensive. To find train schedules online, just search for a destination, country, region or city, and the phrase train. You will find that most countries have a national rail network of some kind, or there are companies that specialise in providing all the booking information you need, just on one website. You can contact us, or just keep up to date with travel news at facebook.com slash Show. This is Seclo Sounds, your community radio station. If you'd like to volunteer some of your time and skills with Seclo Sounds, send an email to volunteers at seclosounds.org and let us know how you would like to be involved. MK Flyers Online, the fast and simple way to find any kind of business or service locally. Find us at mkflyersonline.co.uk or download the MK Flyers mobile app from your app store. MK Flyers Online proudly supports Seclo Sounds, community radio for Milton Keynes. To listen to this show again, or to find out the other shows we have on the station, please visit www.seclosounds.org. Still to come travel news, including a story about the hotel that wasn't ready, very carry-on abroad. But at the moment I'm talking about trains, and when you put stuff like this together, you think, well, everybody knows that so I'm teaching people to suck eggs. But just because I was in the trade and I know how to do it doesn't mean everybody does, and I have to keep remembering that. So if you're aware of all this, I'm sorry if I'm making it oversimplified and you're thinking, oh, what's he going on about this for? But re please remember, there are some people who don't know everything, so it's for them, really. And uh, Now we're going to go through some websites over the various countries of the world to help you find uh, the train tickets you need. You may find that some of your preferred hotel and flight booking websites don't have the train option. And if they do, it's only for one or two countries. Luckily, there are specialist websites that make life work of booking tickets and getting the right tourist bar passes. But for basic journeys, you may find it easier to go direct to the rail company's own website. Starting with Orient Express. Orient Express, www.orient-express.com, is not just about trains anymore. The company now offers luxury adventures around the world. There are still some train journeys on the iconic train, but hopefully without any of their murders. Like, sorry, I had to say that. It, it was the law. Australia, there's Rail Australia, which is railaustralia.com.au, and it's an alliance between Australia's mainest tourist, major tourist orientated uh, rail operators. From this website, you can access all the members' websites. 
Country Link, which is www.countrylink.info, and this provides long distance passenger rail services supported by an extensive coach network. Their fleet of XPT and Explo Explorer, no E, just Explorer, trains and rail coaches provide services to more than 360 destinations throughout New South Wales and to interstate destinations including Brisbane, Can Canberra, and Melbourne. Still with Australia, there's Great Southern Rail, which is www.greatsouthernrail.com.au, and this operates four trains. The Indian Pacific, which is Sydney, Adelaide, Perth. The Garn, which is Adelaide, Alice Springs, Darwin. The Overland, which is Melbourne to Adelaide. And the Southern Spirit, which is two in transcontinental train journeys. Their aim is to offer unique and memorable outback adventures, uh, experiences with all the comforts and services synonymous with two of the world's greatest train journeys. Also in Australia, there's Queensland Rail Travel, which is www.queenslandrail.com.au, and it claims to have the largest and most comprehensive network of long distance and tourist trains in Australia. And rounding up Australia, there's Transwa or TransWA. Uh, www.transwa.wa.gov.au and TransWA or Transwa is the Western Australian Government's regional tra public transport operator and has more than 275 destinations in the southern half of Western Australia. You may realise I'm doing this alphabetically because I'm now popping over to Canada and you've got Via Rail which is www.viarail.ca and this website is a comprehensive guide to the Canadian Rail Network. One of the best services of this network is that some of the areas you can arrange to stop the train between stations. Can you imagine that? Just stopping a train like a bus? Just waiting at the railway line, sticking your arm out and hoping the train will stop. That seems magical to me. And this is great for people who really want to get away from it. I was once told about a trip to this lodge in this lake. You canoe to the lake canoe across the lake to the lodge you've got nobody around you and the train just stops you have a couple of nights in the lodge you walk back to the your canoe back to the mainland then you walk to the railway line and you just stick your hand out and get the train and keep going that's got to be the best holiday ever but this site does not include the famous tourist trains that run across canada although if you do travel across canada using via rail you do get to travel with the locals and still see the sites although probably out of slightly smaller windows and, uh, of course, the famous one in Canada, which is the Rocky Mountaineer, www.rockymountaineer.com. Uh, trains and holiday packages for those who want to travel across Canada by luxury train. There are four distinct, distinctive train routes, rich in natural wonders, throughout, through British Columbia and Alberta. The trains have various classes of travel, and, the, to be honest, the more you spend, the better the view. For the most obvious statement of the show... China has a vast territory with stunning landscapes, and as the country opens up to visitors, railways are the more, most efficient method of transportation. The website you can use is www.china-railway.com. The website gives you, uh, guides you through the complex network of trains that connect almost all the main cities and towns in China. Slightly closer to home, uh, France, SNCF, uh, www.sncf.co.uk and www.tgv.co.uk uh, SNCF is France's national state-owned railway company and it operates the country's national rail services including the TGV which is the France's high-speed rail network and the overnight and local services. Germany, seen quite apt we discovered Berlin. Uh, Deutsche Bahn which is www.bah n.de and eventually you can find a british page for that is responsible for running all german intercity express eurocity intercity and regional barn trains and many commuter or commuter orientated uh, urban s-bahn trains there is a word for that in german i cannot pronounce it <laughs> metros uh, this is an excellent website for finding the train times tables for europe including the uk i use the app on my phone and includes small towns and international connections as well you can print just the train schedules you need and there is a DB Navigator app, which is what I just mentioned, where you can track train times using your mobile phone. And for more information on cross-European night trains, visit 
dot. Now I'm going to spell this out because I can't pronounce it. N-A-C-H-T-Z-U.